Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to create an aim beast scenario. So if you don't know what aim beast is, it's an FPS aim trainer, much like Kovacs aim trainer. It just got out of early access and I think it has a lot of potential in terms of how customizable it is, um, how smooth the gameplay is, and it also has a nice little rank system to hopefully keep you motivated and help you improve. So first things you want to do is obviously get aim beast. It's available on Steam for $5.99. We're not going to touch on all the customizable options within this tutorial because this video would be very long if we did. So I'm just going to lay out the basics for you. So to make your own scenario, first what you're going to want to do is go to customize. Now when you go to customize, you're going to have four options, characters, weapons, bots, and maps. First is characters. So this is obviously going to be you within the scenario. Um, you can choose to use some of the presets that Aim Beast has in here, or you can choose to make your own character. By hitting this plus button right here hit the plus you make a character you name it whatever you'd like this next pencil is going to be if you want to rename save um, this upload is going to be if you want to upload it to the steam workshop for a and b so if you'd like other people to be able to use their character your character in their scenarios you can do that this download is going to be if you want to download other people's characters so if you'd like to perhaps you know build off somebody else's character that they already made you can do that as a starting point some of the options within the character you have the health obviously the health of your character movement speed so if you're looking to make a scenario that's based on movement um, this would be something you want to look at acceleration jump velocity weapons so if you're looking to say make a scenario um, working on your Fortnite, you know, shotgun SMG shots or whatever. Change the first weapon to shotgun, next one to an AR or SMG, um, and then work on, you know, switching between those in the scenario. That's characters. Next is weapons. This is obviously going to be how your weapon performs and acts. Um, same things up here. You can create your own, save, upload, or if you'd like to download somebody else's and build off theirs. You can see we have some Rainbow Six in here. Um, bunch of other ones if you'd like to build off those first option is the weapon type so full auto semi-auto burst you get fire rate infinite ammo body damage headshot damage um all these different options you have down here ads um recoil is obviously a big one if you're looking to match perhaps you know the recoil of a gun in csgo or valorant um this will give you extremely customizable in terms of what you want the recoil to look like. Next is bots. So same thing here. If you want to make your own or build off somebody else's, download here, upload. Um, these are going to the bot type is the first one. So capsule sphere box. So if you want it to look like more like a person, or perhaps you're gonna, you know, work on diabolical um, aiming. So maybe you want a sphere, um, or you can do random. We'll go back to capsule. Um, that's probably the most popular, obviously. Radius, how big the body is. Height, head radius, all these good options here. Color, um, you know, height from ground if you want it to be off the ground. Um, health is obviously a big one here. Movement speed, so how quickly you want to move, how quickly you want to change directions, acceleration, jump. Um, all these different options down here. Movement, this one's kind of big, so you know, average left action to the right is more, so you want him to go more. You want him to go left more. We don't want him to go right at all if we pull this slider to the left. All this left and right, min max time, forward and back. All these different customizable options down here that we won't get into for sake of time. Um, map is the next one, so you can see I already have one map created. Um, so this is going to be, hit the plus button, and you're able to make your own map. Talk a little bit about the options in here. Um, so I'll take you to this page. So this is kind of the map builder. Um, you can fly around in here. You know, it uh, gives you a little preset here with some blocks and some bot spawns and your spawn. Um, so if we're looking to build maybe a bigger floor here, we can do that with these blocks. Right, get it nested in there. Okay. Um, if we're looking to change the block size, we hit E. 
it'll bring up the building blocks uh, menu. You're obviously able to choose between a bunch of different floors, walls, roofs, um, advanced blocks, so circles, or different types of squares, different, you know, types of boxes with different bottoms, um, cutouts, whatever you'd like, um, terrain blocks. So if you want your floor to, you know, look like the ground or whatever, you can do that. Invisible blocks. Um, these obviously won't show up in your scenario, but they'll block people from say going in certain areas. So get this one in here. If we wanted to, what number is that? Six. So this is invisible block. So if we, you know, didn't want the bots to ever come over here, you know, or if we wanted them to stay this far away from the wall, we'd put invisible blocks. So, you know, once they hit the invisible blocks, they wouldn't be able to go any farther, but the blocks won't show up in your scenario. There won't be physical blocks in there. Um, the function blocks. So obviously this is AI spawn where the bots spawn. You can place those all over. Player spawn. This is where you spawn. Lights. So if you want to light your um your scenario or you can just change the sky to jump blocks big small end platform so if you make it to that to this block the scenario is over kill block um end game kill block you got some different options there um you can see at the bottom we have a little option of um you know what block we want to use so you know we got on player here if we want to add another player spawn now we have two player spawns. We can rotate the blocks using R. Bam. We can change the sky type with H if we want. Um, we can hit T, and this will bring me bring me to the edit. So you know, say I accidentally place this player spawn here. Well, I don't want to spawn there, so we you know hover over it and we hit X, and that player spawn's gone. Or uh, I don't want this. In, I don't want these um, invisible blocks in here anymore. Oops. Or delete that. Oh, we got rid of those invisible blocks, right? Um, that's pretty much all it for the um for the editor. One cool thing you can do is hit F10, and then it's just going to give you kind of a little preview of what your map's going to be like. Um, so if you wanted to see what it might look like in the scenario, you know, how lit it is or whatever, you can do that toggling F10. Brings me back to edit mode with F10 again. Okay, so once we got that done, back to menu, and now we're going to make the scenario, finally. We hit the play. You can see these are all the scenarios that have already been verified by AimBeast. We're going to go up here to custom. We're going to hit the plus, and this will bring me to my create scenario menu so name full name is scenario one type so this is going to be obviously what type of scenario it falls under so if somebody's looking for a click timing scenario garage will pop up map we can either use our custom maps in here or if we downloaded somebody else's map um, using that download button back in the customized section this will show up here too so we can um, use that map we'll use our map one that we made difficulty i'm just going to tell people how hard it is Character type, so we're using the presets right now, so we only have the options that um, come with Aim Beast, or we can click custom. Now we have the character that we made, we can select that custom. We can select the bot that we made. Oh, we didn't make a bot, did we? Well, if you made a bot, this would show up in our custom or presets, same type of thing. Number of bots, turn that up. Um, Headshots only. These are just different um, options for your scenario. Obviously, time, time limit, kill limit. If you want to put a kill limit on it, um, some spawning options. So if you want to say delay the the time that the bots spawn, um, you can do that. Scoring system gives you some options here. Normal or like I said, if you're making a movement one, you maybe want to look into these distance traveled, movement traveled, and this conditional movement one from Aimer Seven. Um, all these different options that you can customize it with so whenever you're finished you hit the confirm and it's up there right next thing you're going to probably want to do is unless you don't want to share it with anybody but you hit this upload button this is going to upload it again to the steam workshop for aim beast um so other people can play your scenario if you'd like um give it a title 
description, whatever notes, and then hit this upload button. And you have now created your first scenario and uploaded it to the Steam Workshop for other people to enjoy as well. That's pretty much it. Um, if you guys got any questions or comments, leave them below. And thank you for listening, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.